Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing the comment. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Welcome back, everybody. We're continuing the uh, commentary uh, playthrough here of Stray. Oh, my gosh, he's doing it again. I don't know. <laughs> I am playing this pre-release, so you know the uh, the neck uh, the, the the neck uh, aerobics that the cat does are uh, a little uh, a little unpredictable. It seems we're gonna try and just move right on past that and pretend like we haven't seen it. Um, so last time we got our little drone buddy. He's in the backpack. We are now tasked with uh, getting out of this flat. That's what we're gonna be doing here. I did just knock over a big old pile of books. Uh, as cats can do, I can also, you know, claw the, uh, claw the floor here, um, as cats do, of course. Um, but, uh, let's see here. Oh, here we, yeah, I mean, obviously. Oh, look, we made it up. Can we not, can we turn off the music? <laughs> All right. I was expecting to maybe be able to, like, knock it over. Okay. Anyway, let's figure out how to get out of this flat and figure out how we can get out of this town with these terrifying little... I don't even know what they were. Like... Snail... Monster things? I, I, I don't even know. They were terrifying, whatever they were. Be sure to check out episode one. All right. Keys. Select an item to use. Yep. Key. There we go. Press right to use. Oh. By golly. So I control him with the. I control the drones where it's looking with the right stick. Okay. A digicode, huh? Hmm. Must be a code around here somewhere I've got to find. Once again with the drawing of the cat person. Zero seven four five. In here maybe? Let's see. Oh, code. Three, seven, I can't read it all. Three, seven, with the appropriate way to write a seven, by the way. That line through it, that's very important in aerospace. Three, seven, four, eight, okay. Three, whoop. Three, seven, four, eight. Bag alley. Some good tunes. Ooh. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Okay. I mean, with this world, you know, cyberpunk dystopia. Very uh, cloud punk-esque. Well, I mean, it's... it's if it's the... The bad areas on the bottom. Whoa, that is that is messed up down there. Whoop! As I said, playing pre-release, so we're getting a little bit of a little bit of jankiness here. That's okay. I should point out that my PC specs are in the uh, in the description, and they are more than sufficient to run just about anything. Um, but, you know, the the point is the, a cyberpunk dystopia with the bad parts on the bottom. That's not exactly unique to any game. Ooh. Wait, I remember. The outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? 
This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Hmm. Okay. Gained a postcard. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. New memory recovered. Okay. Tempted to knock over that can of paint. Just track, track paint everywhere. Let's see. Oh, okay. We can go down. Oh, I hear those little... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them. Oh, I did not want to go down there. Safe zone pointed over that way. Hmm. Handy with the uh, transportation bucket here once again. Deeply, deeply uns. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yep, I was worried about that. Whoa. Oh. Maybe somebody alive up here. Well, the slums. Wow, okay. So they're just right on the other side of this. Oh my gosh, the cat is so cute. Yeah. There's just like... Plywood. Just plywood between them and the apocalypse. Hello. I'm friendly, don't worry. told everybody that this area was contaminated, didn't you? I mean, this does very much, like, beg the question of, like, what happened to the humans. Hey, everybody. Hello. I am but a mere fuzzy kitty. Hello, are you okay? Hello? I mean, there's a lot of them. It's nice of this one to stay out and try to Attack me, presumably. Protect them from me. Hello. <laughs> oh, he smiled. Smiled at the meow. Whoa. They seem to have their own language. You are no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> yeah, noted. That's no problem. That air raid siren sound, that's... Sticks with you. It's nice that the drone, like, you know, could translate for us. You look lost. What do you need? I 
I don't, I don't even know. Oh, show item. Left? No. Left? No. Oh, there we go. Postcard. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's probably for the best. He lives up high in that building with the orange neon sign. Hmm. Press down to ask B12 for help. Don't, don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Go in and creep out some people. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Are you all sleeping? You look like you're sleeping. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a zerk. I won't show everybody the item, but okay. Oh, oh what is this? Translate. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. Oh, the soft ones. <laughs> that is how humans will be, <laughs> will be remembered. Okay, we need to get up to the place with the orange sign. I'm trying to be cognizant to not flip the camera around real f oh, dang it, real fast and that sort of thing. I know that is a little bit disorienting when watching uh, someone else's playthrough. So hopefully it goes okay. Oh, we can't jump up there. Let's see. I figure we'll have to climb up one building. It's nice that we have like plants and stuff. I mean, not everything is gone. It's not great, obviously, but you know. All right. We've got some conspicuous lighting up on top of this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty sure the sign is up. Yeah, it's up there. So, how are we going to get up there? Another little air conditioning unit. Good. Okay. Whoop. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Swanito. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that is, uh... That is definitely not natural. Good that he's aware of that, you know? Um, okay, so we need to get, still heading over this way, all right. There we go. I, man, I just, I gotta tell you, the, the movement and like the platforming stuff just feels great in this. I am, uh, very pleased. Oh, he's sad. Mm -hmm. 
It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. Look at his angry face back there. <laughs> My friends had this dream too, but now they're all gone and I'm alone. I don't know where they ended up, but I tried to contact... Uh, I tried to contact them, but that uh, heckin' transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Ooh, I got some notebook. Okay. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Oh. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's signed Clementine, uh, I'm not even going to try it, Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Hmm. Outsiders. So Momo has some other notebooks, it seems. What do we have here? What is this? Oh, it was a ball. <laughs> Hey, Momo, this is a great place you got here. This is really nice. This is super awesome. Oh, knocked over your books. Sorry about that. It's a nice painting up in the top there. Probably one of the game devs, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, so we're looking for his notebooks. <laughs> Paper bag. Oh, controls are reverse. <laughs> uh, stop it. Get it off your face. How can we... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty clever. There we go. Oh, wow. We got, we got like, options. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meet, oh, dang it, meters in diameter. There are, uh, There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden beyond. Hmm. If I was Momo's notebooks, where would I be? Oh, come on now. Poor Momo. Hey, Momo, good news. Good news. Nope. There's no notebooks back there. That's what I need to do. Ask him. I mean, I guess I can't really ask him things. Oh, here we go. Oh, just a music sheet. Was, so that's just a collectible. That corner, the corner seems to be glowing over here. I don't know what to make of this. Is there any way I can interact with any of this? No. Well, just a flashlight. No. Okay. So try to find this guy's notebooks is our task, huh? Oh, here we go. Remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. <laughs> it was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and bet that uh, the uh, the drone here, or the intelligence that is in the drone, is the scientist. Um. Okay. C 
Kraken? No. Not quite. So where, where? So if we're supposed to look for this guy's notebooks, do I just need to ask him? Hey little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yes I am. Where should I go? That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders and I'm also the last remaining one. Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the outsiders. Doesn't look like we have any real ability to interact with it. Oh. What do we have over here? Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it's the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the Moon creates the tides, stabilizes the axis, the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. So maybe we're far enough in the future where it stopped rotating. Uh, here. Oh, I already did that one. There we go, yeah. Momo gave us his notebook, so let's find the other three. It'll help us find informants uh, on the outside. We have to look in the abandoned flats of the area. You should be able to see them all from the rooftops. Look for an outsider logo. And that's that blue thing right there. Okay. So it is a matter of leaving this particular... What is this? Oh, just scratching things. <laughs> that certainly looks like a metal door. This cat, this cat is extreme. He's clawing up the metal door. Um, okay. We're gonna focus. What did it look like? All right. Not even exactly sure how best. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Okay, so that is what we're talking about. Seems like a lead. Well, thank you for telling me, because I would not have gotten there. Are we gonna jump into this thing? Oh, nope, okay. What a handy little system they have. Just everywhere for the cats to get around, you know. Okay. Thank goodness they lived near to each other. Boy, that, uh, that focus thing is really, it's just a little bit much. Were those cigarettes? Yeah. Digging this tune. Sheet music. I saw something light up up here, but uh, maybe it was just that jump logo. The number of people who are just leaving their lights on. Wasteful. Just wasteful. Clementine's Notebook. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. 
This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We've managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some sort of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Clementine knew, Momo. She knew you weren't on board, man. Hmm. Okay, so the way back to the rooftop is going to be the same way we came in. Is there anything we've missed over here? I, I get the impression this would be something of like a collect-a-thon and, you know, hidden items and that sort of thing, if you wanted it to be. Uh, oh, I'm throwing some stuff, whatever. Okay. There it is. Right there. There isn't one closer, is there? No. Okay. Oh, gosh. Even just the sounds, you know, the little, the little pause. They did, they did really good on this. In just a, a little bit of looking, it seems like it was developed by a really small team. So good on them for... You know, I haven't put this together. And it seems like it's really quite... Uh, the reviews have been really positive. Um, hmm. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Can you throw me across with that? Is that too much? Hello there. Please don't bother the uh, Vapora. She's so clumsy. Ah, Mito. She she clumsy, huh? She clumsy, huh? I get it. I get it. No big deal. You guys wouldn't even let me knock over your paint. Oof. All right. I was gonna do it. There we go. It's a good, good little bit of hopping. Uh, so where is this one? Boy, that one's gonna go quite a ways. But I I need to get in here. I think. You got a rooftop access here, hmm? You got a ceiling fan? Ventilation power supply. Ah, okay. So we need to jump in through the roof. But to do that, we got to take out the battery. Rawr. Okay. All right. Like try and pick up the soundtrack to this if they sell it separately on Steam or something. Oh, I bet me jumping off of this. Yeah, they fell. Yep. Where's that notebook? I can go get some water, and I mean, like, I think, I, if, if there is some sort of mechanism where it tells me that I'm thirsty, I haven't noticed it. Whoa, look at those claws coming out of there. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I did not, <laughs> did not even realize that was a window. That was 
Mere happenstance. Um... Drink here for a minute. All right. Hmm. Oh, something was beeping. What was that? Oh, stuck in the boxes. Uh, what am I missing? No, I think it's going to be in here. I mean, this is the... At least I, th I think it's, yeah. Because they had the, uh, the sign out on the porch. And it was like a puzzle to get in here. Like all signs point to this being the right place. Try going out the back here. Yeah, there's the people throwing. Not gonna make that jump, huh? Okay. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Huh. Alright, well, I need to stay up by the rooftops. I mean, the, the guy even said that you should be able to see all the houses from the rooftops. And I've still got, like even, is it just over there, is it the big blue? Excuse me, kitty. Pardon me. Yeah, see, that's... That certainly looks like it, right? Hmm. Not quite what I was expecting. Let's see here. Up top here, maybe? Can't even jump on top of that chair. Ridiculous. All right. Well. One last time. Maybe I just missed something. Oh. 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named uh, Baltazar. Baltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. I think we just have one left, right? Yeah, there should just be one left. Uh, and yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, not quite what I wanted to do. Good thing we got, you know, those cat hops. <laughs> Did one, one fall right there? Huh. Yeah. Good job, you two. You're doing great. Okay, how can we get over there? You had to wonder, like, if you were part of the people... Quick nap. Oh goodness. If you were part of the people here, you know, you just had to wonder, like, why why suddenly did those four people get the same piece of weird art, you know? Ah, uh, that's nice. Nice little cat nap. Okay. Time to get back to I don't even know if saving the world is what we're doing here or just to surviving in it, you know? Um, okay, we got, we got options, but that certainly looks like razor wire. Can I jump down? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Thought maybe that flower was something, you know. Can I change it? <laughs> News? How depressing. All right. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys see? I struggled to find it when it was one notebook in a room with like six boxes okay <laughs> oh there's something up there all right we'll have to come back to it this is really cool this is this is my my wife's sort of place right here she loves books i man i used to enjoy reading like recreationally but i just my eyes got tired with age i don't i don't enjoy it like i used to um, a nice leather couch? Well, we better destroy the heck out of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cat ownership at its finest. The Rug would be casually lounging on this couch with like a, like a whiskey, like a single malt whiskey. He'd just be hanging out. Okay. We got garbage bags at least. It's good to know that, you know, they have the idea of garbage bags. Just jumping in there at all is going to knock over all those books. It's going to be a catastrophe. All right, I wanted to go back and see. Oh, translate. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. <laughs> Man, that's like, that's like a dead person right there, right? Man. Yeah, what, what is it up here? Oh, it's a good little nap spot. Oh yeah, that is totally, yep. I wonder if you get like a, you know, probably like the getting 100% or getting all the achievements in this game or something, you're probably gonna be like, find all the nap spots and find all the other stuff. I do not want to knock all these books over. <laughs> okay. 
If I was a game designer and I was gonna hide something for these people to find, I probably would have stashed it in that room with all the books, like in front of the doorway. It's interesting to think about how, like technology stopped evolving here in like, the 90s, early 2000s, because you definitely got three and a half inch floppy disks there, but it looks like maybe you've also got some CDs and DVDs. And so like was was whatever apocalyptic that happened. Yeah, we still got radiator heat. And October 11th, once again, October 11th, that's the, the same date that was on another one. Oh man, big old boom box, yeah. Okay, October 11th at, uh, what, 3.30 p.m.? I don't know, that hour hand doesn't make sense. Oh, it's still, it's still running, though, so. All right, we're just gonna try and knock over this small one. Here we go. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Ooh, we got keys. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. <laughs> okay. It's an unsettling drawing right there. Um, so there's a safe buried behind a bunch of books. And then if we're gonna if we're gonna topple something. Oops. Whoops, I didn't I had no intention. Sheet music, yeah, more of it. <laughs> Whoa. Can we keep going up? No. So buried behind a bunch of books. So maybe I need to knock over a bunch of stiff somewhere. We've got the keys to a safe. Now we just gotta find the safe. saw something interactable there for a second, but no. Where might we be talking? Oh, right here. Surely get a better look at some of these books. Oh, no, never mind. The Great Bolt Shortage. Oh man, sounds like a classic. Uh, okay. Oh. There it is. Use safe. We need uh, keys. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Okay. Momo, we're coming. You got so many books, man. You wouldn't even believe it. There were... Oh, boy. Yeah. 
Get a job, Swanito, you hippie. I'm like, oh gosh, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that was a bit of a misjudgment. Okay. Hello there. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Show item. Doc's notebook. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Uh, Baltazar's. That's Baltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Clementines, get ready, man. She knew you weren't gonna go. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums! Big smile. <laughs> Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted your cause. I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, now, let's fix this piece of junk receiver. <laughs> Voila! It works! Come with me! Alright, well, I think that's about as good of... Oh, wait, wait for it. All right, we're going out the window. Uh, if you're interested in that, be sure to come back next time. This is a good place to end it. Uh, be sure to check out the uh, uh, full playlist in the pinned comment. And, of course, thanks for watching.